Zach, so how are you feeling today? It's been a few days since I've seen you. How are things going? I... I had it all. I had a girlfriend. I was athletic. I had a job. Well, that's all memories now. Yeah, but Zach, maybe I can help bring those memories out. <laughs> I just think I'm crazy. Zach, I don't think you're crazy. No judgments, okay? We're just here to try to get you to remember your memories. Now, last time you were here, let's see, said that you woke up a little bit past midnight and you heard that somebody was like talking in your head. You were hearing voices. You didn't know what the voices were, but they woke you up. I'll just... I'll just start from the beginning. I, I woke up in the middle of the night and as you said, I heard these voices or I, I thought they were voices. Get out of bed, Zach. Come to the window, Zach. Of course you're not still sleeping. Get up, Zach. There's things to do. Meet us in the woods. To the kitchen, Zach. Hey, Mom, Dad, the power's not on. Hello. You'll need a flashlight, so that you don't trip and injure yourself on the way out. Try the one to the far left, Zack. That one will work. Of course the disembodied voice would say that the one on the left works. I, I can't quite remember. I remember a light off in the distance and it, it's like it was calling for me. I, I started walking toward the light and as I did I tripped and fell and I cut my leg and I can't remember much after that. I remember waking up the next day, I looked at my leg and there was no cut. It like, it never even happened. A dream. Do you remember else? I, yes actually. They're, they're coming back. I, I, I don't know, tomorrow, the next day? All I know is that they want me. Why? Alright, Zach. It's okay, Zach. Our time's about up for today, anyway. So I'm gonna see you again Wednesday. When's that? Wednesday's four days from now. And, um, you know, if you've got any concerns or anything, feel free to call me before that. But I'll see you on Wednesday, okay? Good. See you then. Hello, Zach. Do you remember me? What do you want from me? Since that night, a few weeks ago, what's wrong with me? Ah, uh, so you do remember. I was afraid you would. It seems we do not give you enough of the Jekyllagar. The what? A drug, given to the ones who've chosen. It suppresses the memory. Why are you telling me all this? What do you want with me? We just need to run some tests, I suppose. Yeah, come outside, where we met that night. No way! I'm gonna stay right here. Are you sure, Zachary? Ooh. What's going on? Mom! Dad! Somebody! They won't be waking up for a while yet. Now, stop resisting. Stop resisting, Zachary. Stop moving in general for the moment. Now, feel the back of your neck. 
What? What is that? Your transmitter, the device which is allowing all of this to happen. Since you know this is here, you should realize that resistance is futile. No. Help! Anyone! The transmitter has another purpose, Zach. If you resist for too long, it will explode, killing you easily. I don't care! You break free! Sheer willpower. Human willpower truly is astounding. Refighting the effects of the transmitter is sufficient. However, it's time to cease this nonsense. Come willingly. If you do, you won't remember a thing and be able to live. I won't become a part of your science experiment. I'll do what I want. Boy was reported missing from his bedroom just yesterday. Apparently he's been talking about the woods a lot recently. We used this as a starting point and found the body immediately. However, not many details of the death have been released. We have been authorized to say this though. He was killed by some kind of wound to his neck. This was just your average kid leading a good life. We request that you call with any information at all. It could be your kid next. <laughs>